I started dancing when I was five years old. My mom sent me to classes. She used to dance when she was younger. And I fell in love with it pretty quickly. I used to do a lot of impromptu performances as a kid. I'd get my brothers involved and make all my grandparents and aunts and uncles watch random shows that we put on in the living room, but yeah, I knew from a young age that I wanted to perform. Now I'm just sort of trying to vision getting back to dance at all and that's scary in itself because a dancer's career it's not that long you know typically 34 35 people start thinking of moving on it's always hard you know af after a surgery even when they fix you it's still it's not it's a whole new knee that you're dealing with and I'm unfortunately still dealing with some pain By the time we had it imaged and stuff, there was a, a partial tear pulling it from the bone. So we tried a bunch of different ways to try and get it to heal, but unfortunately it, it needed to have the surgery. It did take me about a year before I really felt like myself again and that I could dance without consciously thinking, is my knee going to be okay? It's a long journey. It's yeah, frustrating, long, eye-opening journey. <laughs> What's been really helpful for me this time around is I've kept myself really busy. I teach for the Colorado Valley Academy, so I've focused on that quite a lot. And I feel like too having that focus with the students that we teach is helping me to come back a stronger dancer because I've been teaching them how to do steps that now I'm going to get back to hopefully doing. I just tried to focus on other things because, as I said before, a dance career is pretty short and so it's nice to have things ready to go when, when the time to move on comes. And I'm not there yet, but I've been using these past few months to sort of explore those options.